right. Guys, we have a question uh, that we are going to consider, that we are going to focus on. Uh, this is uh, another nice question again uh, on our similarity concept. I to, I referred to other questions uh, or other part of uh, the other part of similarity. Uh, but here, let's see what we have uh, so that we, I do not waste much of your time. In the diagram here, we are given uh, again uh, a particular shape that we are given, a trapezium, triangle combined. So whereby PQ is parallel to UV, these two sides, they are parallel and we are given the dimensions PQ, nine centimeters, UV, uh, six centimeters and VR, eight centimeters. Then we are asked on the item one, name in correct order the triangle, which is similar to triangle VUR. All right, which is a different part that we had from the previous case, whereby you were the one who was to select your triangle. Then you mentioned the other triangle similar to here. You are given at least a hint, so you know where to start from. So we are given that our triangle is supposed to be VUR. Remember I said from similar figures, we consider these uh, taken from the equivalent of angles because we said they are equiangular. They are taken in terms of equal angles. So we need an angle equal to V, an angle equal to U, an angle equal to R. That is how you take your similar figures. So where are we going to have this from? All right, let's take note here. We have got parallel lines in this case. These two lines are parallel lines. And we know that from our parallel lines concept, this angle at P and this angle at U, they are equal, corresponding angles. The angle at Q and the angle at V, corresponding angles. So meaning to say we can use that concept of parallel lines to obtain these angles. So we said the angle at P and the angle at U, they will be equal. They are corresponding to each other. The angle at Q is going to be the same as the angle at V. They are corresponding angles. But if we check here, the angle V, it is shared between the two triangles, this major triangle, this bigger triangle, and this smaller triangle, yeah, they connect back to the R. So R is a common angle taken from the two triangles. So now we are going to relate now. Triangle V, U, R is similar to what, remember I said this sign is for similar to, this one for is for congruent to, if they, it's like this, it's congruent, all right? So here we are talking about similar, it must be facing three, facing on top. So it's going to be similar to which triangle? To triangle, we take according to equal angles. Angle V is equal to what? Angle V, is equal to angle Q, these two, so it is equal to Q. We move on to U, angle U is equal to what we said, U is equal to P, so this is going to be P. Angle R, angle R is equal to what? It's the common angle for both triangles, so this one is going to remain as angle R. So that means our triangle uh, v, U, R is similar to triangle Q, P, R, not triangle R, P, Q, not triangle Q, R, uh, P, no, these are wrong. The, the, answer, the answer, the 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 triangle is supposed to be taken from equal angles according to the order of the first triangle. Not just to say, since there is letter R, there is letter P, there is letter Q, my answer is correct. No, it's not correct. It's taken according to the equal angles, all right? So be careful. Uh, if you are using marking guides to mark your answers, then you'll be saying, ah, this is correct. You have to consider the sides. You have to consider the angles, I mean, that are the same, not to just take uh, what you are given, all right? So take accordingly. Uh, that is the idea there. Let's move on to item two. Calculate VQ. All right. This is the item that is important uh, for us here because we can't use any formula to calculate VQ in this case, there's nothing that we can do. So we go back to the similar figures that we are having here, because remember I said, from the similar figures, we understand that the ratio of sides is the same throughout. So we are going to be thinking of the ratio of sides in this case, the ratio of sides is the same uh, throughout. So how do you take the ratio of sides? Remember we talked about this, all right? We are going to have V, U, 
So we are going to have V U over the corresponding side, which is uh, Q uh, P on the other triangle is equal to, we move from U to R uh, over the corresponding side P R. So it's going to be U R over P R in this case is equal to, we start from V to R. So it's going to be V R over the corresponding from Q to R. So that is over Q R like this. So from our ratio of sides, do we have a part which has got uh, VQ? If we check, we do not have VQ. But let's, let's not just give up to say, if we do not see VQ, then it means this ratio of sides is wrong. No, check if again, there is a part or uh, uh, the length or the, the, the part that you're given that consists of what? Of VQ, because as we are supposed to calculate the VQ, so we need a part which consists of VQ. So if you check of VQ is in this line QR. So let's check on QR. Do we have QR on this part? Yes, we have got QR here. So meaning to say, the moment we calculate QR, we are already calculating QV because QV is inside, it is consistent in, in, in this line. So we are going to calculate uh, QR in this case, all right? So we are going to uh, calculate QR. But uh, having this QR, so we need, we need this ratio. Then we are going to take a corresponding ratio, which has got everything according to our diagram here. So we check VU from V to U, we have got six, QP from P to F. So this one, we have everything there. But if we check UR from U to R, there's nothing. From P to R, there's, no, there, there's nothing on this ratio. So there's no need for us to consider this part. So we are going to take the first one, to the last one, all right? So meaning to say we are going to relate V U over Q P is equal to V R over Q R. So like I said, we need to calculate Q R. So let's substitute from V to U, that's six over Q P from Q to P, which is nine is equal to, all right? We move on uh, V R from V to R, that is eight over the corresponding Q R, the whole of this line that is the one that we are calculating, which consists of what? Of V cube. All right, so we are going to calculate QR from there. So as you can see, this is now a normal equation. And this part here, it shows us the ratio of sides, six over nine. This is, a, so the ratio of sides is the is semi throughout. So just cross multiply, find the QR, six times QR, that's six QR is equal to nine times eight which is going to give us uh, 72. So to find the QR, simply divide by six by six both sides. So QR is going to give us uh, 12 centimeters. That's one, remainder one, which is two. So we are going to obtain uh, 12 centimeters in this case. All right, so this is the length that we are having from our diagram here from Q to R. This is what we have from Q to R. So what are we going to do from this value? So knowing so you can simply start to say if this is uh, 12 centimeters, then what does it mean from Q to B, well, from B to Q? We are simply going to subtract 12 minus this 8 from this point to this point. So that is how we can have our uh, Q at the end, all right? So our BQ is going to be 12 minus 8 at the end. So therefore, uh, BQ is going to be 12 centimeters minus eight centimeters, which is a BQ is going to give us what? Uh, four centimeters at the end. So that was the idea of our question. So meaning to say from this point up to this point is four, four plus eight, it gives us 12. All right, so that was uh, what we're supposed to do in this case. All right, now we are given this part, which is uh, a little bit different from the question that we had uh, on the similarity part. Uh, that we, we revised. Here we are now given that, given the area of triangle V, U, R, we want to talk, we want to consider this triangle V, U, R here. This is our triangle V, U, R here. V, U, R, which is the triangle that we considered on our similar figure that it is similar to triangle Q, P, R. So this time what they did is we have given the area of that triangle, which is 32 square centimeters. As the person is now calculate the area of the trapezium P U V Q. All right, we are given that this carries an area of 32 square centimeters. Calculate the area of this trapezium. This is our person. Calculate the area of 
have this here. How are we going to go about it? All right, remember what I said. I said if the triangles are similar, whenever you are dealing with similar figures, let me write it here. Uh, if we are dealing with the similar figures, the ratio of areas, all right, from similar figures, I explained that, all right, from uh, similar figures, the ratio of area is equal to the ratio of sides squared. So the ratio of uh, area is equal to ratio of uh, sides uh, squared. In this case, we square the ratio to obtain the ratio of area. So meaning to say, we are saying the two triangles are similar. This bigger triangle here and the smaller triangle, the bigger triangle, which is uh, P, this one, Q, P, R, Q, P, R and the smaller triangle in UR. So we got the ratio of sides here. We have the ratio of sides. If you substitute whatever that you want, here we've got, uh, uh, here we've got six over nine. It's the ratio of sides that you see, six over nine. If we substitute the 12 that we got on QR, here we've got uh, eight over 12, that's the ratio of sides. So if we reduce this six over nine or eight over 12, because the ratio of sides is the same, let us reduce and see six over nine, is equal to by three, that is two, by three, that is three. Eight over 12, eight over 12 by four, that is uh, it's going to give us what by four, two by four, that is three. So as we can see, we are obtaining the same ratio, the same ratio in this case, which is two over three. This ratio is not of areas, it is the ratio of sides. So from this concept that we are talking about here, we are saying we have got the ratio of sides of these two triangles. All right, these two triangles is two s to three or two over three, meaning to say the two corresponds to the smaller triangle to the first triangle. This one, the three corresponds to this triangle, but we are talking about the sides. Sides that is where we are taking this side. So we are going back now to this formula that we are saying the ratio of areas now is equal to the ratio of side squared, meaning to say for two over three. Uh, squared. Remember, our ratio of sides was 2 over 3. Why are we talking of area? Because we have given area here. So we, think we have to think of the ratio of areas, the ratio that, that can allow us to calculate area. All right. So from this part that we have, or from this ratio, uh, we are going to obtain 2 squared, which is 4, uh, 3 squared, which is 9. So this is the ratio of area, which corresponds to the two triangles. That is these two triangles that we have triangle B, U, R. It means triangle B, U, R, in terms of area, it has got four units. In terms of area, triangle uh, Q, P, R, the bigger triangle, Q, P, R, the bigger triangle, it has got nine units according to area, that's four S to nine. So this one is for the smaller triangle, the bigger triangle. So using this ratio, because we are given area, if we use this area of this triangle to calculate the area of the bigger triangle, it is going to help us to, to obtain the remaining area of this trapezium because we are simply going to subtract the area of the bigger triangle, which is this one, minus the area of this triangle. If we remove this triangle from the bigger triangle, what we remain with? We remain with this trapezium. So we are going to calculate the ratio. Uh, we are going to calculate now the area of the bigger triangle, which is what? Which is QPR. So we need to calculate area of triangle QPR first. So when do we obtain this? We obtain from the ratio. That is the importance of having this ratio because we say VUR, this triangle that we are given, its area of 32. According to area, we calculated the ratio of areas. We are the ratio of areas here from what? From the ratio of uh, from the ratio of sides, we managed to calculate the ratio of what? Uh, the ratio of area from the ratio of sides, which is four by nine. So we are saying this triangle, it consists of four units according to area. What about the, the one triangle QPR, which has got nine according to area? So it's a proportion to say four from triangle B, U, R, whereby triangle B, U, R, it has an area of 32. So 4 is equal to 32 square centimeters from BUR. What about triangle QPR? Because they are similar, the one that has got a ratio of 9 
according to area, what is going to be its corresponding area? If it has a ratio of nine, what about its area that is present? So that is how you calculate area. You take it from the ratio of size. That is where I was saying from similar figures, you have to find the ratio of size. Then with the ratio of size, you can be able to calculate this area. So as you can see, this is going to be four. So that's nine over four times 32, all right? Uh, so that's nine over four times 32 square centimeters. If you multiply this, we are going to obtain 72 square centimeters, all right? So the 72 square centimeters is the area of triangle QPR. This is the one that is called 72 square centimeters, QPR. This whole triangle, this one, QPR, this one, it has got said the whole triangle consisting this whole triangle, it consists of the smaller triangle and the trapezium. So therefore, to find the area of this trapezium, we're going to subtract the smaller triangle from the bigger triangle, all right? So therefore, uh, the area, uh, therefore, the area of the trapezium, area of the trapezium, what is our trapezium here? Uh, trapezium P, U, uh, V, Q is going to be the area of the bigger triangle 72 minus the area of the smaller triangle. If we remove this smaller triangle from the bigger triangle, we remain with the trapezium. That is uh, 40 uh, square centimeters in this case. So this is how we calculate area of uh, the certain shape, especially a, a, a trapezium from a, a triangles like this. We are supposed to work with similar figures. Know that the similar figures they have the ratio of sides, but you use the ratio of sides to calculate the ratio of areas best. Using that ratio of areas, now you can relate to say this 32, it has its corresponding ratio is four. So four is equal to 32 square centimeter. What about nine of the bigger triangle? It is going to have how many square centimeters in terms of area? You don't work with the ratio of sides, this one that you could know. The ratio of sides, it helps you to obtain the ratio of areas if the two triangles are similar. And also using your mathematical skills, you can see that these two, they are combined. These two that are combined here, which is the bigger triangle and the smaller triangle. If I remove the smaller triangle, I remain with the trapezium. That is another part that can also help you uh, to simplify these typical questions. Anyways, that's what we had. Uh, let us revise more questions uh, for now. That's it for Mason African Motives. Till we meet again.